I know you don't play offensive line, but given what happened last week and what, you know, what we all reported on that situation with uh, Joe Judge firing Mark Colombo, how do you as a player and how do you guys as a team uh, react to that? Um, yeah, um, definitely. Um, that entire situation is definitely um, above my pay grade. Um, as, as a player and as, as a team, um, we know that Coach Judge is um, – every decision he makes is in the best interest of the team. Um, and I know me personally and a lot of guys love working with Coach Colombo and obviously wish him the best. But um, like I said, um, that, that's, that's the thing with Coach Judge and um, his, 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 his best interest is always with the team. John Levy. Evan, did you watch the games, the Washington, Dallas, Philadelphia <laughs> games yesterday? And what is your reaction to looking at the standings right now and seeing everybody has three wins and it's a, you know, kind of a sprint to the finish here? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I had the little red zone um, channel on yesterday, kind of going back and forth from all the games. So um, definitely had my eye on, on the division, on the division guys. So, um, yeah, it's a it's a unique um, opportunity for us. And, um, you know, the focus is um, getting better each and every day and attacking each day um, and uh, preparing ourselves for that game um, each week coming up. So, um, yeah, it's it's a lot of meaning, meaningful football for us. And um, we're, we're heading into it with the right mindset and getting ready for it. What does that change, Evan? You haven't really played any mini, meaningful football games in your four-year NFL career here, three-year NFL career here. What is, what's the difference right now versus what you're usually feeling on November 23rd? Yeah, um, it's, it's definitely, uh, like I said, it's a unique opportunity. Um, and uh, it's, it's even more unique, you know, coming off the of bye week and having that, having that motivation and, and having that, um, that sense of urgency and opportunity that's ahead of us um, is different. And um, I know as a team, we're really looking forward to it. And uh, it's definitely going to um, push us to work even harder, um, even coming off a of bye week when we kind of got away from it for a little bit. Are you inter interested to see how you and your teammates respond to big games in November? You know what I mean? I mean, you know, a lot of times in this part of the year, and especially if you're three and seven, there's individual goals, you still want to win, but there's no playoff carrot out there. I mean, this puts an antes up for everybody, doesn't it? Yeah, um, definitely. Um, you know, it's like I said, when there's meaningful football um, and the playoffs um, are involved, um, everybody's, everybody's uh, like I said, sense of urgency goes up. Um, and, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's different being here the last three years um, in the situations we've been in. So, and I know it's different for a lot of the young guys that are here that are co just coming into the league and getting an opportunity to play meaningful football. So, um, you know, it's like I said, um, our motivation right now is, is getting better each and every day and attacking um, each opportunity um, going into the week like we have now, I'm going to get into Cincinnati. So, um, but it is, um, it is a special opportunity that a lot of guys are ready for. And one more, do you, um, um, did you take a, a, a opportunity advantage of this little break to kind of look back at your <laughs> first 10 games, look at what you did well, what you didn't do well and kind of reassess. And if so, what did you see? And, you know, is your head more clear moving forward maybe? Yeah. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's always kind of the, been the way I approached the bye week. Um, just kind of, um, early on in the break, breaking down the first half of the year or um, the first 10 games and um, seeing things I've improved on, seeing the things I need to continue to improve on. Um, and for me, you know, it's it's the small things. It's it's blocking techniques. It's little things that I've seen I've gotten better at. And there's things um, like just ball security and, and even staying more consistent in the blocking game um, that I need to continue to get better at going forward. So um, a lot of small things that are always that I'm always trying to work on and um, I always kind of evaluated myself uh, the first um, this for the bye week. You guys have had some guys test positive for COVID, you know, some star players around the league like Miles Garrett yesterday had to sit out. I'm just curious, 10 weeks into this thing, how much of a distraction has this been? How much different has this been for you? And how's it kind of changed your preparation week to week? I um, mean, you know, this, I mean, this year has been different, uh, all phases for everybody. So, um, you know, and it um, just the, just the, possibility you know of, of catching COVID or um, and we, when we have guys test positive you know it's definitely a it's definitely some adversity and it's a hurdle that we got to overcome as as an individual and as a team so um, I think it's um, you know there's a lot of things that that we deal with during the football season and obviously having these circumstances is um, a new one this year so uh, but you know I think we have a, we do a good job of kind of um, working through the adversity um, keeping my mind 
focused on uh, what's ahead of us, and that's the opportunity of, of attacking and playing that game that Sunday. Along the lines of that, uh, with Thanksgiving being this week, I know a lot of you guys, you know, have had, you know, you have family come into town in past years and uh, whatever togethers with position groups. I'm just curious from your perspective, have you had to change your plans? What will you do this year based on kind of the guidelines and the restrictions that are out there? And um, are you able to bring some family and friends up to, uh, to kind of enjoy the holiday with you? Um, yeah. You know, it, I think this year is definitely um, different for me just because my family knows what's at stake and my family's really tuned in on kind of how, how strict that we have to be and I have to be um, for my availability and, and being safe um, from, from the virus and stuff. Um, so I'm, I've kind of, they kind of understand that, you know, this might be, this is a kind of different year of, of taking visits up here and, and coming to see me. So, um, and I mean, my family is, they get up here um, anytime they, they, they can in the past years, but um, they understand this year is kind of different. So um, this year I, I might just, might just be by my lonesome on Thanksgiving, but um, I know that they'll probably, we'll probably have like a little FaceTime reunion or something. Um, like I said, they understand the circumstances though. Thanks, Evan. Last one here, Jordan. Hey, Evan. I'm curious as a tight end, obviously you're a big part of the blocking. How much do you actually do, do you guys actually work with the offensive line coach? Um, you know, we, um, in practice, you know, there's, there's period, there's individual periods where we work kind of combo stuff, um, with the tackles and, and, and small running game things that, um, sometimes in some of the run schemes that we do have to work with them. But, um, a lot of it is, a lot of it is kind of just working on our steps, knowing what the goal is, um, for this type of scheme or the type of run that we're running, um, and kind of get to our aim at points. So, um, there is times in, in practice that we work with the tackles. How much different was the technique stuff that you learned this 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 year and compared to years past, or, or was it? Yeah, no, it's it's not really that much different. Um, you know, it's well, we de we got some different run game stuff in, but um, a different terminology and, and definitely new coaches that coach a different way. But it's kind of all really the same. And on a separate, you know, tangent, what do you you guys are obviously in the division race? Aside from winning games, naturally. What do you think this team needs to do in order to be able to say to, at the end, say, okay, we're going to be able to win this division? Um, I think it's just attacking the moment that we're in right now. Um, you know, it's not to look ahead, not to worry about what is going on in the other games and with the other teams, um, kind of just letting everything play out. Um, and But for us, worry about what's on our plate and an opportunity that we have in front of us um, in that moment and that week.